Christians, I'm Naya. I'm a junior concentrating in modern culture and media and political science. I'm Felipe. I'm a junior concentrating in history. I'm Julia. I'm a junior concentrating in neuroscience. And we're a few first gens that just wanted to show you around campus and show you all the places that you might be hanging out when you get here in the fall. So we're right now we're at the main green. It's the center hub of campus. A lot of students, professors, visitors of the campus pass by through here daily. Um, there's lots of classrooms on the main green um, and there's also the campus center where a lot of students hang out. We'll show you. Right over there. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Pembroke. This is one of the main areas where all first years live. As a first year, you have a lot of resources within your own dorm that connects you to different people. So you get your own unit, um, which is basically the floor that you live on, and each unit gets RPLs. So these can be normal RPLs, um, women peer counselors, or minority peer counselors. And these are upperclassmen who are there to help you, people that you can go to and talk to about any problems you'll have, um, and just basically be a support system for you on campus. Hey guys, so behind us is the Sharp Refectory. Otherwise known as the Ratty. Ratty. <laughs> it's a very important place on campus because this is where you eat. So you are what you eat. That saying is actually a really wise saying. You need to make sure that you eat really well while your time here in college. Despite the intense academic environment, you make sure that you're taking care of yourself, getting good sleep, eating healthy, balanced meals. These are all really important things. Luckily, there's plenty of food at the Ratty. Uh, they have an omelet bar and a salad bar and also big tables where you can sit with other students and have you know, family dinners and big dinners with other people. Also a place you can just study throughout the day. Um, and uh, if the Ratty doesn't suit your cravings, there are a bunch of different little eateries and another main dining hall known as the V-Dub on campus for your selection. This is Thayer Street. Now we're in J. Walter Wilson, one of the tallest buildings on campus, as you can see from the beautiful view around me. You have a lot of things going on in this building. So you have mail services, and you also have a lot of small seminar classrooms, which you may be taking some of your first year seminars in. You also have a lot of academic and personal resources, including study abroad, financial aid, the chaplain's office, the writing center, health career support, uh, and a lot of other personal resources that you might need, including uh, counseling and psychological services. Hey guys, so now we're at the Brown Center for Students of Color. This is a resource for the whole campus community, and in particular students of color. It is a great place to get connected with other communities on campus and school clubs, but also find resources from the administration. It's also a great place to study. Now we're at the Sci-Li. This is one of the main libraries on campus. Um, it's 14 stories. study spaces. My, one of my favorite floors is the third floor where they have the science center. So there's tons of resources and people available um, for STEM students. Um, they have group tutoring options pretty much every night. This is the bus stop. Fun fact, you can use your brown ID to get anywhere in Providence for free.